morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut, out here in beautiful Thompson, Connecticut today on this nice Cape house that sits by Aquatic Lake. We got three stories in the front. We'll show you what's going on back there. I've been here once before to do gutter cleaning last year, and uh, this is a new house for this lady, and we washed her old house like two years ago, so a repeat client. We're back again this year to do roof treatment here. I've got the X6 all pulled and flaked out, ready to go for when I get here. I've got pressure washer pulled all the way down around the front of the house to the back of this garage. We're going to work our way back here and in the front, do the roof, take care of that. So you can hear the machine running. Let's go take a look. We're downstreaming on 250 feet of single wire gray hose. And I've got the 2.1 injector on the M5 for soaping. And you can see this property just drops away back here. Very dirty, lots of bugs, always lots of bugs at the lake. I had to bring my 32 foot ladder down in here and you can see the trees. This was a difficult ladder placement. I'm right up against the edge there because there's a whole big dormer up there above that that I cannot reach. There's no possible way to hit it. Go down here, I don't think you can see it from the dock, but we know it's there. Yeah, see? You can see it. There's no way I'm hitting that. There's a window up there too. So the 32, nice and stable right there. That was the biggest trick of the day, getting the ladder down in here. I had to bring it down in last year too when I did gutter cleaning, so I knew what I was in for. A little loop of hose there in case we need a little extra. And then I'm all the way back here, decking, railings, all sorts of fun stuff. We're gonna be here for a little while getting this one clean and we've got sloping angle loose gravel to stand on but anyway i'm going to try to get around that corner a little bit which i think i can do let's go see if we can see the truck oh yeah see that all the way baby all the way one more little pull yeah that's all i got but i can get this from here Touch it up if needed as I come around. And as you can see, there's no hitting that from the ground. So we're up here with the M5 on soap mode. Lots of bugs. I'm going to soap here for probably a minute or two and I'm going to hang out and enjoy the view for a minute so I don't have to climb back up again and give it a nice hearty rinse. The bugs come right off. SH, melt spider webs. Right on. worked our way out front I brought all my hose up around with me and we're on soap mode my plan is to soap the entirety of the front of the house then I'm gonna go up and shoot the roof I just went up there a few minutes ago and blew everything off with a leaf blower so we're good to go so as soon as I get all of this soap I'm gonna go up there with the x6 hit some sauce come down pick up the pressure washer and go right into rinse mode
All right, everything down here is soaked all, in the, all underneath there in the breezeway, all the railings inside and out. And I took the time to rinse that top triangle and some of this glass already because the sun is beating right on it. Going up on the roof now with the X6 and we are set to 6% with a crack on the soap dial. So I wanna point out that that dilutes your SH a little bit because you're not 50-50 anymore because you're adding soap. So think about that when you're turning that soap dial. All right, we are pulling some soap as you can see. I made some fresh soap the other day. It's the first time we've used it since I made it. It was uh, some of the Southeast Soft Wash Southern Drawl, I think it was. I put one gallon of, of soap into about 12 gallons of water and made myself a nice batch. Okay, we're just talking about percentage. I told you I'm shooting 6%. That's what I put on the dial. We're 50-50, but then I am adding soap. So that is gonna dilute that a little bit. I've had a few guys recently reaching out to me and saying, you know, I'm shooting 6%, but it feels like nothing's moving or it doesn't move as quickly as I would expect. If you're shooting 6%, you should get a nearly instant result. Okay, and I think that some guys are opening their soap valve several turns and potentially diluting their SH a lot more than they think. And then it comes back to draw testing also. If you haven't done draw testing, you don't really know if you are drawing 50-50 with your valves wide open. You can kind of gauge what's happening by how quick your reaction is. Dead already. All right, now for the least fun part of the day is getting this ladder down. Uh, bringing it back to the truck. Good Lord. <laughs> it's all about finding that balance point. Big fun. Oof. Oof. This your cardiac rehab right here. Oof. All right, I'm out here on the roof on my next project. It's a big, big cape, lots of angles. I got the 16 right there. It's the only ladder placement I need to be able to come up and access every roof. We're simply blowing them out like we always do. And we don't have too many problems happening here. In fact, some of these gutters don't have a single thing in them. Perfectly clean. I could have put the drone up here, I suppose. It would have saved me climbing around up here. This is pretty easy though. As you can see, we get access right up through here and all walkable. This place is beautiful. We're doing this little barn garage washing. We got lettuce on top of everything here. So that's nice. Beautiful gardens. Quinn, came, Quinn and I came here to quote this job earlier this year. And they have a resident rabbit living in here. It's a wild rabbit that just lives here. Pretty cool. We got decking, fencing. I got 200 feet of hose pulled. I pulled right down through the alley here. All the way to the woods. Turned around, made my loops. I'm gonna work my way in here. I'm washing this fencing, decking, this side of the house. Work my way back down through the garden here. Wash the back of the barn, this side. Then get into that area, wash the fronts and then we're doing the roof on that garage. So, a little intricate, but easy if you lay it out right. Here we go. Decking is pretty dirty. I'm hoping to relieve it with just house wash and a few minutes dwell time. M5 rinse, of course. I think it's gonna come right back.
shoot this from the ground. But I got the 16 right here. And it helps me get a little bit better angle on it. Can take a little bit better shot. I've already washed this building. I've got all the vegetation nice and wet on both ends. As soon as I step off this ladder, I go directly into rinse mode on both sides to try to further wet any vegetation over there because you can see obviously we're getting overspray. There's no way to avoid that. I could walk the roof, I suppose, and get a little less overspray, but it's hardly worth the effort. You're still going to get overspray. I'm making sure I'm getting that top of that ridge vent real nice right now. This has this nasty, furry lichen on it. That stuff's nasty. You got to hit it pretty hot. I'm running 6% with a little bit of soap. So I'm probably a little bit less than six, maybe closer to five. That's pretty hot. The soap is giving me some nice halt. Again, this is simply some Southeast soft wash soap. Normally I use Eliminator, but Cody was gracious enough to send me some soap. So we're going to use it. This is probably going to be about 15 gallons of SH by the time we're done. It's nice having the adjustment. It's nice being able to go from a needle to a cone as you get closer. All right, that's basically that. Then we run it out one more time, corner to corner. Come down a couple feet, zig across, not too fast. Come down a couple more feet, come across again. And that's it. All right, we got the X6 all flushed out, running, running pure water now, or clean water. And we're gonna do our final rinse down. Make sure we're saturating all this vegetation down in here. It's mostly weeds on this side. Not gonna spend a lot of time there. But we are gonna spend a little more time on this side. All these pretty flowers. I'm gonna give everything a nice five minute solid drink at least. Right, that roof is done. You can tell how white and dead everything is. Looks like it's got a coat of cotton on it. Came out fantastic. So we did gutters on this building, blew off the roof on both sides and did a treatment and washed the whole building front and back. We did gutters on this house. I went up on the roof, walked all these gutters out, blew all the debris onto the ground, blew it all away as necessary. On the back side, we washed the decking, the fencing, and then the house in its entirety all the way around the front. And I am wrapped up and done. I got here at noontime by myself. And it is 1.35. Solid hour and a half. Fantastic ticket. One man, one truck. All right. We thought we were done. Client is so happy with the garage roof. They've opted to have me do this roof also. So we just got a quick little, quick little couple hundred dollar add-on take care of that roof piece of cake so everything's already wet from the house wash i'm going up there shoot it with five percent come down switch into rinse mode cycle my gun out while spraying on the roof when i have clear water then i'm going to rinse all the vegetation roll it up and be out
All right, now we're done. Another 15 minutes, no big deal.